Hi folks, today's tech tip is dedicated to understanding the sonar reflection created by different lures. It may sound a little technical, but basically it means that different types of lures will kick back to your display a different type of look. Now, we set up a Vexlar here in only 10 foot of water to dramatize this and, and how you should set it up correctly. What I've done is I've suspended my transducer down the hole and I've made sure that the transducer is hanging straight. And this is one of the little techniques I use to make sure it hangs straight. Once the transducer is down the hole, I'm gonna take my first target. And this will be just a small little ice fishing lure and they call them marmuskas. Uh, and it's got a little Mackey plastic on the back. It's very popular for sunfish and crappie fishing. I'm just gonna drop this bait down and you'll see it show up on the display as it goes down, there it goes. And I'll probably leave this at about six foot or so. Boom, okay, there she is and I'll leave that locked in. Now that's just a small little marmuska lure. Look how big it looks in that big marmuska lure. That's part of the story, so uh, just abide with me. The next lure we're putting down is a spoon. Now these are commonly used by, you know, uh, perch fishermen, walleye anglers, very common. The spoon goes down, but when the spoon goes down, it glides away from me. Um, it went down someplace, there it goes, way over there. So now the spoon is long ways away from me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it down near the bottom and then I'm just gonna wait for it to swing back underneath me. A lot of times people call and they say, well, when I put my lure down the hole, it disappears, I don't see it. Well, that's oftentimes, you know, the, uh, it could be a shinerman or pulling it away, or in this case, the actual lure itself glides away from the hole. And now it's gliding back down, cause I'm not gonna move it. I'm just gonna leave it stationary. And you'll see it show up in the screen as it, there it is, as it drifts underneath the hole. So I'm just gonna set that one up at about seven foot, just like you see there. Now that's the little spoon. Now what I'm gonna try to do is get these as close to each other as I can, cause that'll give you a good accurate testament to what these lures will look like. Then the last one is the ever popular jigging rapala or the jigging minnow type baits, little puppet minnows. Very popular for a lot of anglers. Now these baits have a lot of uh, signal display because there's they lay horizontal in the water, so they're kicking off a signal from the back tail fin and across the back top of the bait and a lot of different angles. And that's important to remember because that will give you a much different looking display. Now, here we've got all three baits down at the same time. The little marmuska on top, the spoon, and then the jigging rapala type lure. Now, now I have the unit set with minimum gain, normal mode. Now watch what happens when I go to the low power setting. Everything disappears except for that jigging rapala because that's the biggest, most obvious target. Now I'm only right now in the 10 foot range display. And that's what you wanna always do is be in the biggest display possible to give you the best resolution possible. Now what I'm gonna to have to do now to bring back those other two lures that are down there is to simply turn up the game. So to get the same, to show you the three different sizes of lures, because really we have three different sizes of lures down there, you can adjust the gain proportionally and you can actually see them relative to their size. And that's an important thing to remember because now watch this, relative to their size. Now I can go from the 10 foot range to the 20. Notice how everything suddenly gets smaller. Then to the four or to the 30 foot range. You see, we try to, at Vexlaw, give you the maximum resolution you possibly can. And I know a lot of people say, well, how can a lure that's only this big look like it's a foot long on the 10 foot display? And that's simply because of the reflective surfaces that are being kicked back at different times. The slower it takes for a signal to get back, the longer the signal gets. And in this case, the jigging rapala or the longer minnow bait has a lot of unique shapes and contours that ricochets off. So the bait will appear to be longer or bigger in the water. It'll kick back a better signal. So the next time you're out fishing, remember that every lure has its own personal signature for sonar sound. For Vexilar Marine Electronics, I'm Tom Zaneko.